Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on JMusical. In this video, I will show you how to install and use Musical in Fiji. The only requirement is that you have Fiji working on your computer. I will use a clean version to show you the whole process. If you want to understand why Musical works, I suggest going to the website and look at the original paper. To install Musical, we need to add the repository which contains the plugin and all the dependencies. So first open Fiji. Once it's open, go to Help Update. This will check several files before you encounter the update window. Now click on Manage Update Site and then Add Update Site. You need to set two of the fields. The first one is a name, which is not important, but I will set it as JMusical. And the second one is a link of the repository, where you must use the following link. When clicking on close, a message should appear indicating the number of new files you need. Just accept it to see the list of all the required files and the action required for each one of them. Now just click on Apply Changes to start downloading. After getting all the files, click on Accept, and then Restart Fiji in order to detect the new plugin. The next time you open Fiji, the plugin should appear on the bottom of the Plugin tab. To use the plugin, we need first to open an image stack. The format of this file must be XYT, meaning that the stack must be single color. Now with the image stack selected, go to Plugin, Musical, Musical UI. This will open the main window of the plugin. This window contains all the configuration parameters you need for the plugin, and the order of them is related to the normal workflow of using Musical. Before starting with the parameters, you can check that the image stack is the correct. Otherwise, you will need to open the plugin again. The first group of fields are the optical parameters, and you need to know them beforehand. The mission depends on the fluorophore you are using, and it needs to be in nanometer. For this particular image, it is 510. The numerical aperture is given by the optical system, which is, in this case, 1.4. For the magnification and the pixel size, we have two ways of proceeding. The first one is to use the optical magnification of your microscope and the size of the camera's pixel, which you can find on the datasheet of your camera. In our case, these parameters are 100x and 8000 nanometers. The second option is to use just the image pixel size, if you have it, in which case we set the magnification to 1. This is the path this tutorial will follow, and the result will not be affected by this decision. The magnification will be set in 1, and the pixel size, which in this case is the pixel size of the image, will be 18 nanometer. To convert from one format to other, you can use this simple formula which states that the image pixel size can be obtained by dividing the camera pixel size by the optical magnification. If in the future you are not sure about the parameters, you can place the mouse over the field and read the small description of it. In case you are wondering about NW, this is a value used by Musical and it's computed automatically from the parameters, so you don't need to worry about it. After setting these parameters, click on Plot Singular Values. We will use this plot as a tool to obtain the most important parameter for computer the final image, called the threshold. In the plot, we look for the point in which the lines have a big change in direction from vertical to horizontal, the so-called knee point. We are interested in the values on the y-axis, 
around these curves. The recommendation is to try several of these values around any point and analyze the result. We will use one in the middle, such as minus 0.5, but you could use something above or below. Once we have picked the threshold, the second step is getting the actual image using Musical. The threshold is the value we know before, so minus 0.5 in our case. Alpha is by default 4, which is the recommended value on the paper. It is related to the contrast and you are welcome to play with it. In the paper you can find a discussion of the effect of alpha in the final result. Finally, we set how many subpixels we want to create along each side of each original pixel. For instance, if we pick 20, for each pixel in the original IMAX, we will create a grid of 20 by 20 pixels. This means that the final image will have 20 times the width and height in pixels and that the new pixels are going to be 20 times smaller than the original ones. This is all what we need to compute the image. What is left is to choose a mode of computation. This affects the total time use. To speed things up, you can select multi-threading mode, which divides the image computation along different threads. In the number of threads, you should select a number no greater than the number of cores your machine has. I will use 4. If you want to automatically store the results, you can check the autosave option. It will store the image and a log file in the indicated folder, in this case, the desktop. And that's it. We click on Generate Image and wait for the result. This will appear automatically once it's ready. And the name will contain the threshold by a factor of 100 and the timestamp of when the image was computed. The resultant image and the log file will be in the desktop since we picked that location. The log file is just plain text with all the parameters used for computer the image. You can now increase the contrast by using the histogram or by using another transformation, such as the log function. If we compare the original image, or the mean of it, since it's a stat, and the image obtained using musical, you can see how the details are sharper and the resolution is increased, allowing a better view of your data. In one of the previous steps, we picked minus 0.5 as a threshold. However, you could use a different value and obtain a very different result. For example, if we use minus 0.2, we observe that all the details are gone. You should be aware of this fact and try different values in order to find the more suitable one for your sample. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any question about Musical or this plugin, please leave a comment or send us an email. We will gladly try to help you. Goodbye.